Revelation to see the reversal. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write. This thing saith he that is holy. He that is true, he that hath the key of David. There is a key called the key of David. May that key be placed in your hands in the name of Jesus. He that opened and no man shut it. And shut it and no man opened it. I know thy works. Behold, I have said before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength. I have kept my word. I have not denied my name. This tells us about the mystery, the power of open doors. Now in Acts of Apostles chapter 12. Acts of Apostles chapter 12. I read from verse 1. Acts of Apostles chapter 12. Verse 1. You do well to open your Bible to that place. I know that somebody had the kind of doors God will open for you this year. Will make all your past suffering a forgotten thing. In Acts chapter 12. Now, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. And the king James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And and when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions to keep him. Four different Regiments of soldiers just for one man. Intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison. The prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night. God never comes late. The night they were to bring him out to slaughter him. Heavens began the operation. May heaven begin the operation that will set you free. And when Herod will have brought him forth, the same night, Peter was sleeping. Peter May you have only the faith to sleep peacefully in the midst of any storm you may be facing. Somebody is about to be killed next day. He knew they were going to execute him the next day. They burned one hand to one soldier, another hand to another soldier. Inside the chain, inside the two soldiers, the man slept like a baby. May you possess the faith. Oh, Nick, that will shame your enemies. He slept between two soldiers. Also, Larry, I want to chains. Once if he shake a shake, he keep pass before the door, kept the prison. I tea, I want a one you to a little say, be local. That was the bondage of man. A unique be continue. Then the kind of angel you should pray to help you today arrived. I tea, I run one girl, it don't like it, but rough, no, 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 but they the angel of open door. I will uncle the angel of the Lord came upon him. Uncle, no, see, we've was a door. 
prison. And the light shine in the prison. E mo le si mo ninu tubu. And he smote Peter on the side. Ni pa na lo lu Peteru pe pe li egbe. He took an angel to slap him to wake him up. He was so deep sleep. O pa angel ile aye lati lu Peteru pe pe and he raised him up saying and rise up quickly the day that was all the angel said no prayer no binding and rise up quickly the day and his chains fell off from his hands the angel did not even talk to the chain the chain was afraid of the angel may bondages that want to make themselves a full time staff be shaken to pieces today in the name of God and the angel said unto him guide thyself because he was using his mantle as cover cloth and bind on the sanders they are losing his sanders because he wanted to sleep well and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me and he went out and followed him and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he saw a vision when they were past the first and second word they came unto the iron gate that lead unto the city they just, they just walked Peter out of the prison like those people were sleeping, were sleeping. I want to soon, soon. Those who were supposed to be guiding were still there. I want to hear come ashore. I want to hear one. He walked them out. So born it, daddy. Verse ten again. When they were past the first and second word, they came to the iron gate that leaded them to the city. What the end was, no one left in ring. The other side, open to them of his own accord. He also the carare she still a fun one like those automatic doors you see at the airport. Or supermarket, he just approached the thing and the dog just opens like be a one leg with all my sheep for around one. You could do call call only that in those days there were no automatic doors iron massive gate locked it was a gate to the city which opened to them of his own accord may good gates open to you of their own accord in the name of Jesus and they went out and passed on through one street and fought with the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and delivered me from the hand of Herod and from the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose name was Mark where many were gathered together praying they were praying in that house that Peter should be released and as Peter knocked at the door of the gate a damsel came to Akin named Rhoda Rhoda down and when she knew Peter's voice, she opened all the gate for gladness. She was excited. But ran in and told them, Peter stood at the gate. Stop the prayer. Peter is at the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. They were praying for Peter to release. Peter had now been released. Peter had gone to those who were praying. Peter And they are calling somebody a mad person. But she constantly affirmed that it was so. So both the more giddy giddy pay, Benny. Then they say it is his angel. Once we pay Angel, you're a name. 
But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoning unto them with the hand, told them to hold their peace. And declared to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And said, Go and show these things unto James and the brethren. And parted and went to another place. The next morning, problem started. Herod gathered all the soldiers who didn't know what happened and killed them for allowing Peter to escape. Herod the angel of open door I'm praying for somebody here the door of healing the door of blessing the door of prosperity that the Lord has put before you any strong man standing at the gate I command them to die in the name of Jesus a servant for the man Every door has a language. Lord That is what is called door language. Every door speaks. Every door has a voice. Every door has a language. Every door is making a statement. A door is either closed or open. When a door is closed, it's making about seven statements. One. He's saying you cannot come in here. You can't come in here. No matter how prepared you are, you can't come in. Two. 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 You can't come in. Four, he's telling you. He can't turn so far. Go away from here. You are a stranger. Me kuroni ale joloje. You are a stranger. Go away from here. Ale joloje kuroni. Five, he can't. He's telling you you do not have the keys. Oh, turn so far. Nipe oh, ni kokoro lowo. You don't have the keys. Oh, ni a wakokoro lowo. He can't far. He's telling you you be rejected. Oh, so far. Nipe eni kosile nio. And seven, ati ikeje. It is launching an embargo. Oh, filole ali. Seven things closed doors are saying. I want come here. T ilego to t inso. One, they say you cannot come in here. Ekine re oni ole wasi hi. Two, you say there is no access for you. Ike di oni kosi anfani fu. You say this is the end of the journey. Ike ta oni ukbiri a jonori. This how far you can go. You can't go further. T t de in lo le lo le te siwaju. For is calling you a stranger that you should go away from there. Ike ri on sofu akwa le to lo je kokuro ni hi. Five is telling you you have no keys. Ike ri on sofu akwa ni kokoro lo wo. Six is rejecting you. Ike fa on on so. Honestly, is placing an embargo. But an open door is speaking another language. It's telling you come this way. Don't go astray. It's telling you no more embargo. It's telling you keep moving. Towards more progress. Listen very carefully now very carefully now if there is a meeting in the presidential palace and you you are riding in the convoy of the president you are inside this convoy the gate will open to you promptly the gate will open automatically to the president and all those who are with him. Are you following what I'm saying? Some people 
their door openers doors open to them which automatically open to those who walk with them they themselves may not need those doors but those who are with them need the doors Herod had detained Apostle Peter Herod and angel had visited Peter and got him out the chains of Peter fell up without any prayer and the bible said the main gate of the city opened to peter of their own accord the gate did not actually open to peter the gate opened to the angel but because peter was walking with the angel he had an open door peter continued on his way after his angelic companion had gone he now arrived at another door without the angel this time he had to start knocking he was knocking even with the knocking the door did not open to him automatically he knocked and knocked and waited while they were negotiating inside whether or not to open the door his voice was familiar to them his case was why they gathered to pray yet he had to knock and wait in the dark fearful street a short while ago like an iron gate had opened to him voluntarily a short while ago he had left the prison and he just walked through all those guys a short while ago the doors of prison opened the door of city opened voluntarily nobody touched them now alone a mere wooden door will not budge even after persistent painful knocking and knocking on that door even after identify himself it could not open to him automatically why the angel had gone back if the angel had followed Peter to that door, no knocking is needed. The door will open. The door open because the angel was there. The door open because the angel wanted Peter to have a breakthrough. That angel could have decided not to pass through the gate but to pass through the wall. Nobody can stop the angel. So some people people are door openers when the angel that opens the door is with your life when you have the angel of open doors by your side iron gates fearsome soldiers that are even guarding the gates. This kind of gate will open to you. You walk through them. There are some people too that God can put in your way. Even iron gates will open to them. While you walk with them. But when they leave you, or you leave them, even wooden doors, with feeble old women at the door, we hardly respect you. Even with your pleading and frank negotiations, we do not respect you may God send you the open door angels may God send this angel to you to minimize your labor 
may God send his angels to you to minimize your harsh knocking on stubborn doors in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder you say how do I connect to this kind of angel this is the hard part this is the hard part the hard part now the Bible says though we walk in the flesh we do not walk after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to God to pull down strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity all thoughts to the obedience of Christ problems imagination and thoughts thoughts and imagination I want to casting down every imagination and every item bringing into captivity and bringing into subjection all thoughts to the obedience of Christ there are two areas where the enemy cheats us tremendously in our thoughts and in our imagination our thoughts and our imagination listen to me very carefully your greatest hindrance is not the witches or the wizards no, your greatest hindrance is yourself the thoughts and the imagination you are having the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What you were thinking about yesterday was what made you what you had today. If the thoughts you are pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and is thought of fear, thought of failure, that is what is happening now. Your thoughts are the regular things that crosses your mind regular things you meditate upon that's your thoughts your imagination is, is the picture of things that come to your mind after you have thought terrible thoughts the picture that will now develop the bible says for you to have victory you must cast down those wicked imaginations. The Bible says for you to have victory. You must bring all those thoughts to the obedience of Christ. Listen and listen carefully, beloved. The whole creation we are in now is a product of thought the idea of creating the earth was conceived in God's mind and then planned out in his imagination your thoughts they have the power for creating for you the thing you think Unfortunately, most of the thoughts of human beings are soaked in fear, in doubt, and in wickedness. Very few people run through a day without some bad thoughts. Even as I'm preaching now, some people may be here, they're thinking bad things. The Bible says the art of man is desperate. 
desperately wicked. Deep and desperately wicked. Say, who can know it? Your thoughts are the forces. You send out to work on your behalf. And the entire manifestation of today were direct product of the thoughts you had before. The thoughts of God are backed up by the power of God. The thoughts of the devil are backed up by the power of the devil. If you you must remain undefeated in this wicked world. You must always align your heart with the thoughts of God. When God's thought becomes your thoughts, then you generate God's power. If your thought life is dirty and confused, then success will be so far from you. If you begin to think the devil's thoughts, then you experience defeat. The enemies begin their attack from your thoughts. If they win you on the thought level, then they move to imagination level. For example, the devil shouts a thought into the mind of somebody. Say, hey, ah, you are owing six months rent. The landlord will throw you out. Now that is a thought. If you do not throw it out with the word of God, then imagination will now follow. In that imagination, you begin to imagine your load scattered all over the streets. You begin to imagine people laughing at you. <laughs> you begin to see the picture of your children crying on the streets. That is imagination. Once those two things catch you, no angel will approach you. That is the bottom line. Look at Peter in that prison yard. He knew that he was dying the next day. His mind ought to have been filled with, ha, ah, I won't see this one again. I won't see that one again. And he will refuse to eat. He will refuse to sleep. He slept so soundly and angel had to slap him to wake him up. Somebody has a small pain in the breast. And it was very painful. And the thought came. I am spending this breast. Hope is not cancer. That is the thought. Then, if you don't deal with it at that level, very soon the enemy begins to expand it. It transmits to imagination. And you begin to imagine the breast growing big. And they are cutting it away. And so on and so forth. That's what the Bible says. Unless those thoughts bring them onto subject. Bring them onto subjection. That's why the angel of open doors can be your friend. You say, how do I do that? You can do that. In our popular five C's. C, five C's. Five C's. C number one. Sensor what enters into your mind. Sensor it. Two. Capture every evil thought before it expands. Capture every evil thought before it expands. Three. Concentrate on scriptures and praises. Concentrate on scriptures and praises. Four. Compare 
every thought with the word of God and throw out the negative ones. Five, confront every thought that does not conform to the word of God. Those are the five C's you can use. So the first stage deal with your thoughts and imagination. And the second key ask for angelic assistance. Now how the angel of open doors can be working with you. And wherever you go, doors will just open to you of their own accord. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. And all eyes closed. All eyes closed. With fire in your voice. For those who love themselves well. And to understand themselves. Lay one hand on your chest. Preferably your right hand. On your chest. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. If somebody around you can see hear your voice. Or you can see hear the voice of the person next to you. You are not praying hard enough. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dark imagination! In my heart! Dark! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and decree! Jesus. 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 aggression you will shout this loud and clear my angel of open door in the name of Jesus name we pray can you shout this loud and clear my father, my father Papa, me. release unto me the angels of power 
it is important you pray that person very well to get those angels released unto you before you now begin to operate can I hear the sisters shouting this prayer is that the best the sisters can do here today let me hear the brothers roaring like thunder. Yes. Everybody together. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask for the ministration of the angels of power. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Angels of power. Angels of power. Shout his love. Arise. And pursue my enemies. Recover my possession. In the name Jesus. They are ministering angels. I want to say Sanford to minister to the heirs of salvation. Taroli said that he said that he said that Jesus name we pray that if you are afraid don't pray the next prayer but I believe God the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear powers of witchcraft in my town scatter in the name of Jesus, scatter it. Jesus name we pray. Bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting place. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. A good measure yeah. present for the Lord. Let it be our Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to bless our lives. Continue to open our understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Eyes closed. Sir Joel said what is it no that the best defense is attack we are not told that that is double when you let it see you close your eyes a deal doing thunder of god shoot down my enemies in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray yes then Shoot them down! In Jesus' name we pray. The glory of the serpent. Oh go ejo fighting against me. Tomba mija catch fire. In the name of Jesus, set their glories ablaze. The glory of that serpent fighting me. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray arrows of fire strike the head of my enemies in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray feet of fire crush my enemies to death feet of fire crush my enemies to death in the name of Jesus In Jesus' name we pray. Angels of war. Angels of war. Angels of war. Use sharp stones. Angels of war. The head of my enemies. Life for I want I hear you shouting this loud. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. name we pray oh I will open the gate of death for the enemies of my job can you shout his life your voice is not angry enough Jesus, just spare me. My catenda ya In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus la badura. The next few prayers. I want to do a dear Tom Benny. What you want? need what to call boiling anger. I need to talk with me. If you know, the son says, I hate them that hate the Lord. When the son says, I hate them with perfect hatred. I hate them with perfect hatred. I hate them with perfect hatred. Kingdom of darkness. Ijoba Okuku. Shouting my name. Tom Pari Waruko. Me. Thunder of God. Around. Destroy them. Somebody is receiving a breakthrough. And you got it, Balaja. Yes, yes, Benny, Benny. In Jesus' name, we pray. Any assassin, I heard against me this year. Come on, where you going? Can you shout it with hatred? I withdraw your life. I withdraw your life. No buy me in the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesus. Cannot afford to negotiate. Oh, lay balati do not do that. There is no room for negotiation. Oh, see, I let you do not do that. In Jesus' name, we pray. Ni oruko Jesu la balura. Break this with power and with fire. Egba ele kwelu agbara ati. Any informant. 
giving my enemies my information can you shout it loud be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus we are we are here for serious business. In Jesus' name we pray. Pursue me for evil. When you say that, you now raise up your voice in the command. Run into destruction. Pursue me for evil. Run into destruction. In the name of Jesus. name we pray ni oruko jesus lagbadura this nice prayer adura to kan yi for it to be super effective ko to di pe o le mu na doko dara dara prayed in a non compromising manner three times ni igba meta like gbon te get ni o gba let your voice be louder each time e je ki ori ko ma lo e yin e para hide my glory in the belly can you shout it loud? Thunder God! Bust the belly! Uh -huh. Open your mouth and pray now! And I know you can Your voice is not loud enough. Oh, we Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and shout it again. Bust the belly. Yes, say it. No. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Continue. Continue. Let us see what you. Yes. Benny, yes, 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 Benny, in Jesus' name we pray. For the third time, open your mouth and pray. And now you can bow to name we pray ni oruko jesus lagbadura good odabe very good oda dada very very good ese dara dara you deserve what you tolerate ohun ti e ba fa igba lo to sin we are tired of certain situations awon e ko kon su yin wa yi and so we use our most potent weapon. You will shout this again without any apology. Pause! Assign to turn my garment of glory to rags. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this? 
sister, I think your voice should be louder than that. Brothers, let me hear you roar in like thunder. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. There must be a change. 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 Ribos support the Kenya motion. Tera mo kopola ba. Ba pila katen the Kenya motion. Tera ba kapoka. In Jesus' name we pray. Esa mo fole ba. Amini loko meche. Let's bring out a man out water and let's remain standing. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our man and water unto you, Lord. Let every particle of it become the blood of Jesus. Let every particle carry the fire of God. Let this water disgrace every serpent and scorpion. Let this water disgrace every infirmity. Let this water put to shame every assignment of darkness. Let this water bring progress and deliverance and healing. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of his flow into the water. Anointing of fire flow into the water. Anointing of power flow into the water. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord bless you some time. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. We shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every prayer request, our Lord, answer them by fire. The promise of touch not my nature. And do my prophets no harm. Shall be your Lord in the name of Jesus. Evil is not permitted to visit you. And you are not permitted to fail. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.